Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing the first Descendants Battle Pass. Uh, we'll be discussing what comes inside the Battle Pass, how do you earn an EXP for the Battle Pass, and the price of the Battle Pass overall. But before we get into it, if you guys want to see more First Descendant content, please follow, like, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I am super excited for this game to be coming out because I will definitely be playing it when it launches and I would love to continue making more content for this game. Another disclaimer I would like to make is that the Battle Pass that we'll be looking at is from the technical test, so things are most likely subject to change, but at least it gives us a good overview on things that we should be looking forward to when we do get the launch of the game for it should give us a general idea of how the battle pass system is going to work and as well as things that we will probably be getting from the battle pass so with that let's jump right into the video so first things first where you find the battle pass as we see here the minute you open up your inventory you see it on the top left corner where it says battle pass next to the shop as we see here we see the menu for the battle pass we see where you can upgrade it the challenges the battle pass itself and the battle supply shop so the first thing that we'll be looking at is the upgrade so as we see here it costs 500 caliber just to buy the battle pass just getting it from square one and if you want to have 25 season level purchase it comes out to 1500 caliber so in my mind the way i am kind of translating this a thousand uh, caliber which is the premium currency it is equating to 1000 caliber equaling ten dollars usd and uh, 500 caliber equaling five dollars usd we do not know as of now what is the conversion rate of real life money to the premium currency because in the store it does not show it. it's empty but i am hoping that they are following a lot of other mmos and other games where a thousand premium currency equates to ten dollars and basically every hundred premium currency is a dollar in a certain sense and if that is the case then this is probably one of the cheapest battle pass i've seen like i said things are subject to change it might go up but if i am correct then 500 caliber that equals five bucks this is probably one of the cheapest battle pass i've seen in a long time because normally battle passes are ten dollars per season as we see because it's the technical test they have given us a lot of free caliber we will probably not be getting this much for free in the launch of the game so we will be just buying the premium just so we can get the extra level for the caliber now you see you know it's like are you sure you want it you can't refund it so we'll, we'll get it in the upgrade and that's the animation for it and then it's gonna go through all of the levels but we're gonna skip that uh, and that brought us up to level 27 so the next thing that we're gonna be looking at is the challenges as we see here I haven't even looked at this I've just been playing the story mode up to so far and I'm basically almost done with all of my daily tasks and as we see here for the season weekly task this is like basically what you should complete in the entire season and here is what you should be completing in the week at least for uh, the season as we see here a lot of it is kind of easy it's kind of things that you would already be doing as you're playing the game so i do like that because i have been noticing on other games when they release certain weekly and seasonal challenges it kind of forces you to play certain people or it makes you have to do a certain thing that you normally wouldn't do or you don't have so you would have to grind for it but this is just kind of play the game and you earned um, exp which is my favorite type of battle pass progression system and before we look at what's in the actual battle pass as we see here we have the caliber which is the premium currency that we talked about we have battle coins which is things that you earn every time you level and we'll get into why those are going to be necessary later uh, we have supply coins as well as bonus coins i do not know where the bonus coins come from i do know where the supply coins come from and that is from the battle supply shop uh i'm not a hundred percent sure how you get said items but as we see here it does unlock certain cosmetic things that you get for free so i'm not sure where you get these currency but if somehow some way we figure out how you can get this currency all of these items are for free which is really good you know you get the a weapon skin you get a lepic skin uh as we see here you get a teleport a ajax skin a mask for lepic and another mask for lepic you know more weapon skins 
and you know this is really cool because as we see here all of this is for free as they said in their dev update they really want to show how this is going to be looking when the game actually releases so if we are to take what they said to be truthful then this is things that we will get in the real life game and these will, rewards would be free for normal people who do not get the battle pass and as we see here as we look at the battle pass we see you get you get some caliber back we see that you get exp bonuses gun bonuses cooper i think is the name of it you get those bonuses and we have grappling hook more weapon skins and more cosmetic stuff so as we look into the battle pass we see that in this battle pass free to play players who do not plan on purchasing the battle pass you do still get free stuff we have phase enhancers we have dyes we have certain sprays, even weapon skins are free, which I personally like myself. As we see here, you do get a uh, caliber back. And I th think if I did the math correct, you get 300 caliber back, meaning you would be 200 caliber short from being able to buy the second battle pass. But that kind of also lets you purchase less things. And we don't know if we're going to be getting caliber in any other way besides the battle pass and, you know. We don't know if they will be giving out premium currency. So as we see here, you know, it's more skins for weapons, you know, gold gain. Oh, as we see here, this is where we get the bonus coins. I, as of now, I do not know where you can spend the bonus coins, but we get them. You know, more free to play uh, this emote. It's under the paid section, uh, the hamster wheel. As we see here, more caliber. Uh, we have, I think this is die. Uh, we have, you know, more of the chest attachments, you know, more emotes. We have whistling and stuff, you know. Things are subject to change when it comes to this battle pass. Uh, we do not know for 100% sure that this is exactly what we're going to be getting. But as we see here, it's kind of more cosmetic stuff as well as boosters. If there will be more stuff, we will have to wait and find out. It will be a definite thing to wait for for you to before you decide if you, you know plan on getting it at all. If it is like this, I would say unless you care about the cosmetic stuff and the boosters and like, you know, because a lot of the stuff that you're getting that is like, I would say more pay to win, like enhancing materials and stuff. As we see, you kind of get them in the free section. There might be some like here that, you know, you don't get in the paid version, but you're still getting a decent chunk of the enhancement materials, which I personally like myself. They are mainly only locking a majority of the cosmetics behind the paywall, while a lot of the free stuff is, you know, more of the enhancing materials. Like as we see here, like, you know, the bonus gains, I guess those are locked under, but a lot of the stuff here is for, you know, for free. And you also still get cosmetics for free, which I personally like myself. Now as we keep looking here, you know, we get more weapon skins, more boosters, more bonus coins, which if I find out what these bonus coins are for, I will definitely put it in the pinned comment and I will let you guys know what they're meant for. Oh, as we see here, even uh, they have UI themes, so you can change up the color of your UI themes, like, you know, things that are not very much needed, like to progress in the game. It's more, you know, cosmetic stuff. As we see, we have this rare heart, more currency. And as we see here, you know, even a lot of the emotes, you, there are some emotes you get for free from the free pass. So with that, let me know what you guys think about the first Descendant Battle Pass. Uh, do you think it's free to play friendly? Is there certain things that, you know, you're unhappy with? At least for me, I do not see anything that is worth you know getting upset by a lot of the things that are behind the paid wall are certain boosters as well as a majority of it just being cosmetic uh, you still get a lot of the same boosters and you also get a lot of the premium upgrade materials for free uh, you just don't get as much as the people who pay which is you know very normal also let me know if you guys plan on playing the first descendant when it comes out uh how are you guys enjoying the technical test but with that Thank you so much for watching guys. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.